he loves the water, but he like literally sinks if we don't have <laughs> the uh, life jacket on. And with the life jacket, he just kicks around the pool all day. Uh, is this thing on? Yeah. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll just go through it. Yeah, what's, what's your go-to been lately? My go-to has definitely been... Not right here. <laughs> Let's see, it's over here actually. This one... This one was really sick. Black and white. Broke it the other day. And this is kind of like my favorite black and white that I've been riding pretty much on every trip. It's kind of like done now. I don't know if this is the reason, but it's been feeling kind of weird. And I think my foot pushed through the bottom right here. But uh, it's 6 1, 19, 2 and 7 16. So I believe it was a blank for Jordy that um, got shape down for me because my boards are a bit smaller than Jordy's. But, uh,. Maybe that allowed him to have some more room to move or something with, I don't know, something about this board just worked. How is that different from the one you were riding in the Classic? Is that the one you had tucked away back there? I don't have the one from the Classic here. That's in the factory. Oh uh, yeah. But, uh, so I guess what happened was the black and white was, um, I don't have, the original was a handshake from Brit that I really, really liked. And before it got scanned, I broke it. Oh, no, that's... This is more like the original black and white. It's like super low rocker, good for point breaks. Um, really low entry, not really any flip at all. The original one was like my favorite board for Rincon last winter, and then uh, really liked them in Morocco. And this one I rode in Hawaii last winter, and then we've been adapting it a little bit and scrubbing out a little bit of entry rocker right here, just a little bit, and there's just a little release off the tail. And they kind of turned into just really good all around boards, which is what this one is. And so he's been making me boards where I order this and he scrubs it out and does the little little adaptations on his own. And then uh, they've been working on a program, which I believe I just got one that was really good off that program. So that's cool. But these ones, this, this is pretty much what should be like the production version of the black and white, which is really good. This one's pretty sick. This is from a few years ago. This is the one that I made. That I was riding a rink on when you I were filming. I think I saw you. Uh... I rode this one a lot this winter. But it's kind of, it's funny though. Just the difference between riding professional equipment and your own equipment. Like this thing feels good, really good under my feet. Like I feel like I'm surfing really good and then I watch the footage and there's <laughs> spray coming over the rails and lots of weird stuff going on. And I guess that's just the difference between, you know, good shaper and a bad shaper. But that's kind of the fun of trying to learn. But this thing feels sick. It looks so good. So if to you're me. not gonna watch yourself, <laughs> not gonna watch yourself, you don't gotta worry about it. It looked like it turned on a dime though. Like, oh the really? Tail's kind of pulled in, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of got a hip. I was really trying to. I mean, essentially, I was trying with this to do what the black and white ended up being, which is just really. Well, I was really into like this major flip right in the tip and then a uh, really mellow entry after that and just mellow rocker with some like just hips, which I use just like Owl's old templates and I believe these as well. I'm really into the hips right now, which is like pretty traditional with the Merricks with Owl's old templates from, you know, thousands and stuff. I guess all boards have a hip to a certain degree, but getting the right like angle is crucial.
And then a sand blur is basically a squashed version of that with mega hips. So it's just kind of squattier and fatter. Oh, there's that uh, sound. <laughs> is that terrible? No, you're good. I destroyed this thing. This is one that I made that goes pretty terrible. It's kind of like this psycho bottom contour. But it doesn't really go too good. <laughs> Is that totally blown? <laughs> What got you all fired up on doing the like black and white artwork and all that? Did anybody inspire you to do that or is that just something that? Um, uh, I just grit. I always just, I have these big fat sharpies that I like to round my boards with and mainly it's when I get a batch of boards to kind of give them an identity in my mind instead of just having, you know, four white plain boards that I'm going on a trip with. It kind of gives me a reference in my mind on which one I don't know, almost like a little personality or something. And I just don't spend much time on it. I just like to kind of scribble with a black Sharpie. And Brit was, uh, I don't know, Brit was just tripping that all my boards were black and white. And then that's kind of where that black and white came. And then it was funny because as soon as he started calling my boards black and white or saying that I had black and white boards, I got a big fat blue Sharpie. And all my boards were blue for a while. And I uh, guess it's not that funny. <laughs> but that's where black and white came from was Brit calling my boards I know that's what they are black and white that's just a fat black sharpie um what else you guys are going to do is twin fin huh yeah yeah you've had you've had one or two of those right uh I've got three of them I got them right here it's been so long since I've ridden these that I don't know which one's which, but he was fooling with different fin placement and rail stuff, but they all went really fast. I don't know what else to really say about them, but I've ridden them in so long. <laughs> I have a uh, wave that you can use that's sick on one of these. Really? I don't know, it's kind of kind of cool. <laughs> Actually, someone else might have already put it on Instagram or something, probably. That doesn't matter. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know, I really like the um, old MTFs. You know, to a degree, I feel like... Since I've been working for Brit the last, I don't know, how long, two years or something? Um, I feel like he brings a lot of sort of the thousands, early thousands, Merrick vibe back with like, just like really mellow MBM style rockers, MK99 or whatever, um, but with more updated outlines and rails and, um, but I feel like the black and white to me feels like my best MBMs back in the day, but more updated and more like just kind of modern. And then this, I love MTFs and this is sort of a more user friendly, forgiving version of the MTF because they were like really sick when they were on but pretty moody and these just feel like a more user friendly version which is cool but I really like the um, big sides and the baby trailer combination is a cool sort of feeling drive the looseness it's a pretty cool combo I've actually been running bigger side fins and a smaller trailer in my shortboards as well.
how Sammy's first drawing on my board. <laughs> <laughs> that was last summer. He's he's uh, progressed right from there from now <laughs> to now. Anything else good in here? Uh, shit, I feel like Britt took a bunch. I, I like, this is like my rack where I save boards that I don't really ride anymore, but are. But Britt kind of has them all now. <laughs> this was a sick neck beard from back in the day that um, got destroyed doing it. Air and Selena Cruz and it flipped over and those are two heel prints on the bottom, but this was a, one of my favorite neck beards of all time. This was in like, this is the one I wrote in Lost Interest and shoot a bunch, bunch of stuff, but back then, that thing's sick. How come you don't ride those anymore, the neck beard? I don't know, I want to. Yeah. It's funny how you just like kind of forget about models or whatever, but um, this thing was so sick. I, I need to get another one like it. When I got a dumpster diver, I was going to go from Brit, but it worked bad, but I just think it was because of the material. <laughs> the weird material. This, this was my CT grinder back in the day. I think like 2012 maybe, something, or 11. It was made for Andy, and I think it was either too thick or thin for him, I forget. Maybe too thin, I think I read boards that were thinner than him back then. And um, I ended up getting it, and I don't know, I never like even liked it that much, but Travis and Blake would always tell me how good it looked, and I'd just write it in contests just because it was like, it was just like a whatever board. It was like white bread, but would just kind of do it, just work. But, uh... I like hanging on to boards like that that have like some sort of like nostalgic value, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, but like I said, I used to have more of a Brit dog right now. I used to have the original. This is pretty sick. Thomas Campbell art on it. Proton. Yeah, didn't you do a whole quiver of your boards with that? Same? Yeah. This is the Wave Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> this was a pretty terrible board that I shaped kind of back in the day, like one of my first ones I ever did, and Mini did a video out of it, I remember that. It was pretty, pretty terrible though. No, this isn't the original, but this is this is an owl handshape proton. I think maybe like the second or third one he did. Pretty crazy, the rocker and stuff. Is so banana. -y. Does it have the owl tuck on there? Yeah. It's pretty sick. It's like it's trippy when you look at. I don't know if you can film that, but look at my heel print versus where the uh, entry rocker comes up to. It's super trippy that this thing worked, but this board was really sick. Yeah. I don't really understand what makes them work. I almost feel like you would think that this like kink in the rocker right behind the foot would make you like push rocker, but it almost maybe keeps like all this out of the water or something. I'm not really sure what goes on there, but. Well, this thing was uh, probably one of my favorite boards ever, after like the original Proton. Trippy. Kind <laughs> <laughs> um, of it for like all type of boards. <laughs> 